Hey everybody, HMV here. Playing more Kerbal Space Program, and we've got Kerbal Engineer installed. It's a little wonky. It's not even for this release. It's just been recompiled. Um, I don't trust any of the numbers on here. But we're gonna launch anyway in three, two, one, launch. Oh, I love my Apoepsis numbers. Thank you, thank you, thank you for giving them to me. Um, Yes, this is called The Fixer. It is my first non-element named ship because I'm getting sick of the element names to be to be perfectly frank and honest with you. Um, they were they were amusing at the start, um, but they have gotten to be kind of difficult to um, deal with as my ship bounces all over the place. Uh, as uh, as time goes on and I and I have more ships in the list and I want to know what ship was designed to do what. Um, it's getting really hard to remember that, you know, beryllium was the one that flew by the moon or whatever. So, uh, I I'm going to keep it up for these two launches, but I think after this, um, I'm probably going to drop the whole idea. Um, also pretty soon, um, this series might be over because, uh, when the, when the actual release comes out, I have, I have some plans. I just realized my problem. I don't have SAS on. I'm so smart actually pretty impressed that this ship was able to do what it did <laughs> with SAS off. <laughs> okay, we're high enough now. There go the fairings in their clamshelly nothingness. And then let's ditch this thing, which will allow me to show you the ship. Um, notice it, the, I don't know if you noticed, the Delta V was like 300 or something. Now it's 1479, which is more than enough to get us all the way to where we're going um now this ship the entire design of this ship the whole purpose of it is to um get things to the isru fueler that it needs um in particular it needs radiators and it needs um oh a better antenna that's right it needed a better antenna which we have right here let's go ahead and open this thing up there it is this might be the screenshot <laughs> but okay let's uh let's get this guy there there's absolutely nothing to watch here i'm gonna get this thing to minmus and um i'll, I'll come back when i'm when i'm about landing it because y you don't need to watch that and we're at minmus and look we've got a connection to Kerbin, even though we're behind it oh my word it's like i know what i'm doing okay <laughs> um i have a maneuver here to set me up to come down i think it'll be a few orbits but it'll at least set me up in a good spot so that it'll be easy to plan when I'm going to come down. Um, we're getting low on fuel, as I tend to always do <laughs> in situations like these. But what are you going to do? You're me, right? Um, also, this guy has horrific thrust to weight. Um, I'm actually concerned that he's not going to be able to land on Minmus. And if he can't, I'm just going to deal with it. I'm not going to I'm not going to send up another one of these. Um, the next thing I send up, if I ever send anything, will be uh, with the correct, uh, like an entire device with the correct stuff on it. Just need to slow down enough to come in right over this guy. This is all stuff I would be doing with the trajectories mod if I had it. Yeah, how slowly we are slowing down really scares me here. Let's do that, and then right around here, let's see what it'll take to completely stop. That's a complete stop. 152, and we have over twice that. Well over twice that. We should be fine. <laughs> he says hitting a 5. Okay, let's head on down here. I would love to see our target. I guess we could target it from here, right? There it is. Stay on target. I should already be going, shouldn't I? Yeah, we might be dead. <laughs> yeah, I was so I was so concerned about the target itself that I didn't think about needing to slow down the vessel. Okay. So what do we know? We need to we know we need to burn a little bit north. So let's do that right now. See now we're completely wrong again, just in a different way. But let's slow down here and let's let's practice our uh sucking and why are these kind of sticking out a little bit kind of cheating my direction this way here yeah i think we'll be able to find to land with no problems here 
You have extracted... Oh, it, it did all the ore stuff. Sweet. I think we're going to have to land this thing and then think about what we've done here. We still have 200 meters per second, which is near infinite fuel on, on Minmus here. Definitely could have done the, uh, the planning better. The planning of, of uh, coming down. I miss better burn time telling me uh, when to start burning. <laughs> There we go. We're going to set this as our target. We're going to control from here. I'm going to see where my engines are. My engines are here. We got ore. And our fuel tanks are full. Sweet. So actually, this guy's done pretty good. In the, It's been about somewhere around uh, 20 days, give or take. 35 days since launch. Um, because this guy had to, this guy had to wait for a, for a good window. But OK. Let's go ahead. This guy actually, I can, I can turn him. There we go. Oh, I love the the sound of the RCS. Uh, I, I couldn't turn things. That was shockingly easy, to be honest. Um, okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and extend these. I was expecting this to be a lot harder. Uh, extend. Oh, they're already hot. Look at that. I'm actually gonna drop a quick save here. Um, uh, even though I, I probably can't submit it, uh, extend radiator because I have so many mods installed now. Um, but they're already they're already red hot. Let's see how the uh, see how the stuff is going. Um, the temperature is going back up still, but the load is the load is pretty good. Let's see what this guy looks like. His core temperature is pegged at 500, which is awesome. That means he is at perfect load. And this guy, yeah, is still going up. So looks like we need probably maybe two more of these things. I don't know. Don't know exactly. But the important thing is now this guy is, um, actually I should probably disable these because I don't really want them running anymore. Yeah, so the, the important thing is this guy's running at, at a very high efficiency. Now, here's the funny thing is, oh, he's filling up this guy with fuel. Well, that's fine. You know what? More fuel is better. Um, his main goal at the moment isn't to create fuel anyway. It's to um, mine this ore and fill it up so that we can uh, we can send the ore ship up and uh, bring it. So we're going to let this guy go, though. He's uh, obviously doing his thing, and he should be full of ore by the time uh, by the time we get done here. Okay, I'm going to look at these but not take them because I don't want – I want to, like, downplay Moon from now on. Um, conduct observational surveys of Kerbin. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, haul this into an escape trajectory out of Minmus. I'm not going to do that, even though uh, it's on Minmus. And recover Jane. We don't want to do that. So we're going to. So we looked at these. So they. So they're going to get a minus two when they. Uh, when they go away. Okay. This. Uh, this ship has some extra stuff to do. So let's go ahead and try this aim camera thing. Uh, let's aim the camera at this so we can see what we're doing here. Um, and the first thing we want to do is test this part. Boom, we have tested that part, and we have gotten money for it. Yay. Then the next thing we want to do is test uh, this part. Actually, we, we want to run test on these guys. Boom, we've run test on them. Yay, go us. Then we want to test this part. And that is not even close to what I wanted. Dang it. What happened? Did it? Oh, yeah, no, that is what I wanted. It's just the fairing came off with it. <laughs> the the uh, auto fairing came off with it. Okay, we've tested that. Let's turn on the thing. Valentina is going to launch in three, two, one, launch. Very nice. Now, originally, these um, SRBs here were put on here to uh, complete the contract. Um, oh, and I don't have an engineer module on here. Oh, well. Uh, but they were on here to complete the contract to... Um, to test SRBs, but the other ship actually managed to do those instead. So we don't have to worry about that at the moment. 
but they do they they are nice because our thrust weight's pretty low right here, so it is it is pretty nice to have that. I'm not gonna definitely not gonna complain about it. Okay, but our apoapsis is actually pretty high already. So this is kind of a low thrust to weight launch, but it's not too bad, and it's it is a skipper. So um, as we drain through fuel, our thrust to weight's gonna kind of start going through the roof. There they go. Yeah, see there was there was stuff clipping through them, but not a big deal. Let's go ahead and kill the engine. Get rid of that. And uh, this is this is the ore lifter. It's got Val in it. It's got a bunch of parachutes. Its entire job is to land ore back on Kerbin from Minmus. Um, and it does a decent job of it. Um, I've got these specifically for a contract. Um, let's see, test the Twitch in a orbit. We need to be in orbit and we need to be 15 to 16, 150 to 160. <laughs> you know what I mean. So we're gonna add a maneuver here to speed up just a little bit to get us into orbit. And now we're then that's a stable orbit. And then on the way back down, we will uh, we will test that twitch engine and get it going. Everything works. We have tested the engine. Yay. OK. And then the only thing we now need to do is, oh, we do still need to rendezvous two vessels in orbit of Minmus. So that's good that we that we're still doing this. Um, but the rest of this stuff is stuff that will happen later. A funny thing happened on the way to Minmus. We got a contract to position the Boron 2 into, adjust, into an adjusted orbit. And I figured, you know what? We should take that. That'll be fun. Um, I'm not going to do anything else here. Um, yeah, we're not going to do any, any more of these. So let's go ahead and just leave the facility. And uh, let's head out to the Boron 2. What if I try to set this at the descending node? Is it going to know? What do you think? Nope, it's not going to know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and add a maneuver here. Um, he will not have a connection to Kerbin at the time, but I think we can still do this from back here. And if not, we can do it. Uh, we can do it from uh, the other side. Oh, look at that! We have a connection to the ground base. Oh my God, that is so awesome. That is that is fantastic. The ground base, which really shouldn't be able to see Kerbin from there, is going to relay our signal. Okay. Um, I really don't think this is going to be a very long burn. And I'm right. This is probably enough right here. But we might as well make sure we got it. Position the boron to... Yay! That was easy. Easy money. But back to Val, who still has a connection to Kerbin... Um, I think just because we have such a great DSN, um, because she doesn't have an antenna on here, because being a pilot, she don't need one. Let's go ahead and get her out to Midmus, like we promised we would do at the beginning of the episode. Here comes Midmus. And there goes our light. I have no idea how long this burn is, apparently about 10 seconds. This isn't, it doesn't need to be a very, very accurate of a burn. Um, the whole point of this burn is to get us down so we're in a orbit at all, and then we're gonna we're gonna bring the main ship up. Uh, we're gonna bring the the landed ship up to her um, into orbit. So she's gonna sit in orbit now with with whatever fuel she has, which is enough to survive. Um, and then we're gonna go back to the the fixer, I guess. <laughs> and I just realized I probably should have done this in the in the light because. Oh, we got all of our ore. That's the important thing. Let's go ahead and get him into the light before we take off. There we go. And now what we want to do here is we want to launch into... doesn't really matter. I think we just want to launch to the east. We're not going to... We're not going to fiddle too much. Um, we're going to turn RCS off, though. Although RCS is just set up to go um, radial, we don't need it anymore on this guy. Should probably like lower this maybe <laughs> and stop trying to process ore. You yeah, know the trick is we need to we need to get over these mountains, but then we also just want to get horizontal. And obviously our our delta V numbers are completely wrong. 
Yeah, we want to get this around 10 or so, just so we have some breathing room. There we go. Bill did a good job. With the help, of course, of Mission Control. The Comnet thing keeps switching back to nothing, and it... I don't know if it's if it's maybe that's what I had it set to on that ship, so it keeps setting it back to what it had. I, I have no idea. But anyway, this is... No, that's not Val. Here's Val's ship. So we're going to set Val as the target. And then um, we're going to get into orbit. Then we are going to set Val as our target. Oh, Val is our target. Okay. Then we are going to add a maneuver here to connect with Val's orbit. You know what? Before we do anything else, let's go ahead and fix our ascending and descending nodes here. So we're going to snap one to our descending node. Love that. Until they flip. This is really the, the first I've been using my mod here, and I'm liking it. Okay. So now let's aim at that maneuver node. Looks like they took feedback, and you can now delete the nodes even though you don't have a connection to Kerbin. Now, granted, we do have a connection to Kerbin now, but I think we didn't before, and we weren't able, and we would have been able to delete that node. That was a that was a problem when, when we were landing, if you remember. We had that maneuver node that I couldn't get rid of. Because, um, you know, you, it, it makes sense that you can't edit the nodes or place a new node or anything like that when uh, when you don't have a connection to Kerbin, but to not be able to delete a node, that's that's just enforcing annoyance by the game. Okay, we should be pretty good. Yeah, 0, 0.0. Now, out here, we're going to actually connect with Val. Kind of surprised. There we go. There's our connection. Okay, let's aim at that. This might be a good test because we shouldn't have a connection here um, when, when we finish this burn. I do like this ship. It's pretty cool looking. And it can do its job easily, which is nice. We could we could actually do this with half the fuel. I'm going to use this as a template probably for my ore driller on my next series. Nope, we still can't delete the node. Yeah, well, all we can do is lower it, so oh well. There, now we're in communication, so we can delete the node. And then, yeah, Val's... That's not Val, though. Val, where is Val? Yeah, we missed we missed it sadly. Um, Val could burn down. Kind of sucks that we're doing this on the dark side, which is actually a good reason not to do this. <laughs> it's actually better to burn the other ship up now that I'm thinking about it, because then we can meet out here somewhere. So yeah, let's go back to that guy. Okay, this guy, this guy right here, he is going to add a maneuver here to burn up. There we go. We'll definitely have a connection to Kerbin with this, and we should have the uh, battery power to take care of it. There we go. Kind of guessed at the time. I was kind of right. <laughs> and the DSN switched back to don't show me anything mode, which is super annoying. Perfect. Okay, now here, we're going to add a maneuver to basically set ourselves up perfectly with the other ship, which is going to be doing this and this. And then once, we get, once we're set up perfectly with the other ship, then we're going to be able to um, meet it any time we come out into the sun, is the idea. And that's, that's pretty much perfect. Then out here, we can actually, we can actually meet up pretty easily. So let's go ahead and warp to here. And I think the rest of this we're going to do from Val's ship. So let's get out of let's get out of this mode. Let's go ahead and set you up so you're aimed north. Let's actually close these ra radiators here. We are already in target mode. You should be controlled from here. Well, I'm pretty sure it has the same control scheme. All we need to do is get our direction vector heading towards it. Whoa, that was easy. It really doesn't matter how fast we go, but let's make it 35 just so we get there moderately quick. We might as well tell her to aim retrograde. We shouldn't wander too much. 
we're obviously going to wander a little bit just because we're not aimed perfectly at it. We don't want to be too perfect. <laughs> There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Okay. Oh, we're getting world first here. I should be reading these. Uh, blah, blah, blah. We have performed rendezvous. We have um, done this. We've explored Minmus. And we've explored Minmus. Good job, everybody. I'm proud to be on your team. Okay, we should be in uh, locked mode. So I know what I'm doing here. We want to be aimed kind of this way. Yeah, with that up on top, we want to... Okay, let's turn on our RCS. That's why I have the RCS jets. Definitely benefit from a... Uh, an alignment indicator of some sort, but I think we'll be fine. That looks pretty good. Sorry about the darkness, it's just... Part of the game. Everything is darker than it should be. Had to get that screenshot. <laughs> okay. Um, also, I just realized we don't have that set as our target. There you go. I think we are good to just come in. I do not see how this could not dock. Turn off everything and bam, we have done another world first. We have started the first space station, not really. But the important thing is we're good. Okay, now we need to transfer or from this guy to this guy, ideally exactly 12,000. There we go, 1233, that's good enough for me. Now this guy, I'm a little worried about his fuel, to be honest, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to actually transfer fuel to him. Uh, we are going to, let's see, these guys, oh, these guys have more fuel than these guys because I don't know what I was doing when I was transferring. So let's go ahead and transfer from these two guys to this guy. And you know what? Actually, now that I think about it, let's just do the whole thing because he can make his own fuel if he needs to. <laughs> <laughs> to land back on Minmus. So we might as well fill this guy up as much as we can. We'll splurge. We have infinite free fuel now. We'll splurge. Okay. Val? Say goodbye to Bob or Bill, sorry, whatever your name is. Undock. And we're heading home. And before we get any further, let's go ahead and uh, check out contracts. Explore Minmus. Um... Transfer crew between any vessels near Minmus. Are you serious? Well, we're going to take that. Surface of Minmus. Um, yeah, we can take that. That's probably not going to be too hard to find. We're just going to look at this and not do anything. Test the vector landed on Kerbin. Can't really say no to that. Um, seismic surveys, no. Temperature surveys of the moon, no. Separator into flight above Kerbin. Pretty wide range, so let's go ahead and accept it. And we're not going to build a new surface outpost because we already did. Luckily, we're not too far away. This is why you check your contacts before you do any, any major milestones on your, uh, on your mission. I do love the ch noises. <laughs> They're tiny. They don't matter. But they just sound good. And my phone's ringing. Please hold. Okay, I'm back. Uh, where were we? Oh, yes. We are docking because we need to transfer crew between two ships. Nice. Okay, now Valentina, hop out. Bill, uh, transfer yourself. Yay, we are good at goodness. We did transferred, we explored, and we explored. Undock. Okay, I realize this is going to be harder than I think because um, the contract specifically states that it, this must land on the land on Kerbin. So um, I've set my periapsis to 40 kilometers. Um, I think, tell you what, let's uh, get this guy in the sun so we can see what we're doing. There we go. Um, 
He does have solar panels, so I'm going to close... Oh, I can't close these solar panels. Well, these solar panels are going to be destroyed. We're just going to have to use these solar panels when we get back into uh, Curb. Let's go ahead and get out of Minmus's orbit here. But what we're going to do here is we're going to we're going to clip down because I don't have enough fuel to completely slow down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to clip through the atmosphere, lowering our periapsis or our apoapsis fairly significantly, and then um, also destroying our solar panels. Uh, and then we are going to um, at, at our apoapsis, we are going to, uh, yeah, bye-bye solar panels, sorry. I wasn't really expecting this to blow up. That might be a problem. As long as our ore tank doesn't blow up, I'm happy. I don't know what all is blowing up. But this is working less ideally than it could. Let's see what's been blowing up here. Um, yeah, photovoltaic panels don't care about. Thruster blocks don't care about. Yeah, so far nothing nothing that we care about has overheated. I don't want the landing gear or this to overheat, though. This is full of ore, so ideally it's got a pretty big um, heat sink to it. And we are coming back up, so I think we're fine. Part of the mission parameters. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what are we what are we blowing up now? We still got our ore. I'm a little worried about solar panels. Uh, not solar panels. I'm a little worried about uh actually I am worried about solar panels. I'm more worried about the parachutes than anything else. And all the parachutes are tucked into the uh outside of the heat flow, so I think we'll be fine as far as those are concerned. Now we did significantly lower our apoapsis, which is nice. But I think we're going to do one more pass. But I don't think, the problem is, is now all we have left is our battery power, as far as power is concerned. <laughs> because uh, we've lost all of our solar panels. Uh, at least I'm pretty sure we have. Let's, let's do a quick uh, check here of the ship. Yep, not a solar panel in sight. But we do still have all the parachutes, which is, I'm going to say, of critical importance. Yeah, see, we need to kill... Ideally, we need to kill about 500 meters per second. But we probably don't need to kill that much. Probably just one or two is probably enough. And actually, we probably don't even need to do it now. Because we need to kill about 800 here. I mean, this here was about 200 meters per second, right? So one, two, three more than that is going to be 300. So if we can get this down to 27 then we should be fine. My goal is to get this thing into a stable orbit, a, a low stable orbit, so we can pick our landing spot. I love how little holding retrograde and prograde um, affects your electric charge depletion now. Okay, were we to just burn here, now granted this isn't in, this is in the atmosphere, but still. Were we just to burn here to slow down into a reasonable orbit? 562. We should have that. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go for it. Let's hit F5. Actually, let's go back to our apoapsis. Now we'll hit F5. Just want to get our periapsis up to say 100. There we go. 80. 80 should work fine. Then at our periapsis, let's burn down so we are roughly circular. 621. I think we have it. I can always abort. Because I need a little bit of fuel left to um, to actually go down. And yeah, it doesn't look like we have enough. So when I get down to about 50, I think. 70. Okay. We're going to clip the atmosphere again. I mean, we could just suck it up and uh, come down in the dark. But I, I really want to come down in the light is the problem. So let's burn down. Let's get our periapsis down. Okay. I'm going to hit F5 here. And this is where we are going to decide uh, what happens here. Um, we want to be aiming prograde, although we want to be doing that when we've hit atmosphere. This might uh, this might be a problem. We can always burn forward a little bit if we have to. 
<laughs> Can't believe I'm burning forward to make sure we get out of the atmosphere here. Yeah, but as soon as we get out of the atmosphere, I'll probably turn around and burn south again because this is a this is a perfect spot to come down. And we're back in space. Awesome. Okay, yeah. So what we're going to do here is... Honestly, I think I'm just going to do it right now. We're going to aim retrograde. We're going to plop our periapsis... Or, I'm sorry, our... We're going to plop our, our encounter with the ground on this lake. Let's hit F5. I guess we're going to sit at that. Because we just ran out of fuel. Now, we need to test... Drogue shoots, if I remember correctly. Yes, the Mark 12R radial drogue shoot, Kerbin flying. We need to be under 8,000 meters and under 150 meters per second, which means we're probably going to have to run these things twice. We're going to have to trigger them to slow down, and then they're going to then we're going to put them up into the stage, in, into like a, put a stage in between them, and then um, run them again. Starting to see a little bit of heat. Starting to pull our periapsis back. I'm just hoping we don't end up landing in this huge, uh, this huge lake here. That would be my luck. As the air bites us more and more, we should slow down faster and faster. Yeah, I, I predict we're gonna we're gonna land somewhere around in here. Hopefully not on one of these little dinky lakes. That would really suck. If we land in one of these, I'm gonna be really mad. But it looks like we're gonna be fine. We're gonna go right over it. As soon as we can, we're going to hit the drogue shoots. We're going to hit F5 now, because it's now or never. Uh, there we go. Now we're going to put them all back up here. Uh, we need to be going slower. We're in the realm of speed here. Come on. We got it. Oh, we did we didn't even need to test it. We just needed to haul it. Okay, let's let's get the gear down. And it looks like we hit the we hit the speed just right. Looks like we hit the speed just right. I might have even tested that uh, on the launch pad. I might have filled this up with ore and actually sent it up and then dropped it if I recall. But we did it! Val, as always, is a hero. And I hope you enjoyed watching this. Um, next time, we are going to be getting ready to go to Duna. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. I definitely enjoyed playing it. I'm HMV and I win. As always, talk at you later. Always remember to maintain stability for 10 seconds.